I was on the edge of my seat, praying for Shaw not to fart and instantly vaporize the poor girl. Three twenty three was that popping sound the jacket? Uh -oh. Yes, it definitely was. Uh, I, I stopped moving completely, uh, not wanting to rip the coat. It was really, really tight inside. Um, and I instantly thought, okay, I'm gonna rip this thing completely. Um, and uh, luckily that didn't happen. It was just one pop and we were able to get through it all right. That's how I feel when I shop for condoms. Really, buddy? Obviously, if you're making that comment, you do not feel that way when you shop for condoms. <clears throat> Strong man by day, fashion icon at night. Well, definitely appreciate the comment, but uh, I would not consider myself to be a fashion icon. Far from it. 733, he is just insanely big. Well, it is kind of hard not to be insanely big when you're six foot eight and 425 pounds. Fat guy in a little coat, ha ha. I'm surprised you didn't blow out the seams like Chris Farley, Brian. Well, uh, I could have blown out the seams if I simply would have just put my arms down. I can't really put, like, ah. put my arms down. And I'm happy uh, that at the end of your comment, you said just kidding about the fat part because I probably would have to come find you and uh, we would have a discussion about you calling me fat. Damn, was that a bottle of water or a raindrop wrapped in plastic? <laughs> tiny, tiny bottle of water. <laughs> yeah, the water bottle was insanely small. Uh, it was literally like a raindrop wrapped in plastic. So uh, I'm not sure I've ever had a bottle of water that small, but it was kind of ridiculous, especially at a um, big and tall store. Man, I would destroy the toilet after eating that beast. Well, I'm with you, brother, because uh, I, I went home and completely destroyed the toilet. So yeah, I didn't stand a chance really. Uh, I, knew, I, I knew what was coming. I don't know that the toilet knew what was coming, but uh, it had to deal with it for sure later on that night. 1020, I think you dislocated that kid's shoulder. Awesome, buddy. Good luck this year. I yeah, I definitely felt bad about that uh, after the fact. I kind of went to shake his hand, then it was a little awkward, and um, I think he kind of tensed up, and you know, things got a little weird, but it was still cool meeting him, and I, I think he was just excited, and I hope uh, that I did not actually dislocate his shoulder. Next episode, how it came out. Now, the real question is here, would you actually like to see a video of the toilet after I got done having it come out into the toilet. I really don't think you would want to see that. Uh, I guess you can let us know, uh, but kind of weird, dude. He should practice some wrestling and then join the UFC if possible. With his strength, he would crush everyone. Well, I'm not exactly sure that's how it works. Just practice some wrestling and then, uh, then get into the UFC. And also I'm very positive that I could not make the 160 pound weight cut to make weight at 265 pounds to fight in the UFC. So um, probably not going to happen. Bro, your arms aren't fat, but aren't that muscular either, but they're huge. Your strength is undoubtable. So, I don't know, like with my arms, if they're, if they're not fat, but they're not muscular and they're big, then what are they? I don't know exactly where you're going with that, but the reply to you, I think kind of hits the nail on the head. And it says he would squash your head like a grape. Don't worry about his arms. Fair enough. He got hungry 40 minutes later. Well, it wasn't quite 40 minutes uh, later, but I did get hungry probably about two hours after I put the gut buster down. I love how they just gloss over the insane screaming going on in the background there near the end. 
what kind of burrito place is this? Yeah, that's pretty funny. Uh, so one of my training partners had the video going. I'm, I mean, you're good. I think you're here. I, I and that's what the screaming was coming from. Uh, it was not them uh, slaughtering animals or, or whatever in the kitchen. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty funny that you picked up on that um, because we had to go back and check it out and got a good laugh uh, out of that screaming as well.